As a chef, I learned long ago that food's appearance is just as important as its flavor. All of us decide what to eat based on how a particular dish or an ingredient looks. Sight is an integral part of the food experience. Color alone can trigger desire. Just one glimpse of a perfectly baked golden loaf of bread, caramelized cookies, or, or a buttery croissant is all it takes. What the sauce look like? The eye knows flavor when it sees it. But if food and sight share such a powerful relationship, what happens if suddenly you can't see your food? Does the absence of sight change how food actually tastes? No sight, just smell, just flavor, just touch. Don Lenoir is a restaurant in Paris where you enjoy your dinner in absolute, pitch black, utter darkness. Bonjour. Bonjour. Je suis Michael. Virginie, monsieur. Enchanté. Julien. Julien, Michael. It's nice to meet you both. May I see your kitchen? Yes, of course. I would love to see the kitchen. Okay. Award-winning chef Virginie is one of Paris's leading young chefs. This is nice. Okay, come on. Thank you. Bonjour. She honed her classic culinary skills in some of Paris's finest restaurants, the Ritz Le Doyen, Plaza FNA, La Chamerie. She knows how important visual presentation is for the total enjoyment of food. How does it feel to prepare the food for people that can't see the food? Uh, it's, a, it's a little difficult. <laughs> Even if uh, they don't see the plate, I like to uh, to the plate. Um, to make something nice. Yes. It looks good. Huh? It looks good. good. If the guests can't see the food, then why bother making it look nice? Parce que je suis chef. <laughs> At Don Lenoir, Chef Virginie's challenge is to cook and present food in a way that compensates for the diner's complete loss of sight. Pas si pin non plus, c'est un équilibre entre entre uh, les saveurs et uh, quelque chose d'équilibré, mais de pas trop uh, pas trop excentrique, pas trop pas trop fort en bouche. Uh, la différence avec le noir, c'est que je 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 sépare plus les préparations dans l'assiette pour qu'elles soient mieux trouvées. They can discover with their hand okay. the texture of what they have in the plate. This is a big challenge. I mean, most of us begin eating with our eyes. Yes. We see the food yes. and, and we make assumptions about what we have. Yes. Maybe we like it's it, maybe difficult. we don't like it. I will ask you to leave the kitchen because I have to prepare your uh, dinner. Okay. I'm out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Virginie. But I must admit, I'm a little bit nervous. Just a little bit nervous. I'm not quite sure what to expect up there. <laughs> I have no allergies and okay, no restrictions, and I like everything. Okay, very Surprise good. me. Hello. 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 This is a little bit scary. The servers at Don Lenoir are actually visually impaired. They easily have a The dining room is pink, black, dark, and very nice. sampled a world of ingredients from turtles to truffles, from sperm sacs to sassafras, so my culinary experience along with my senses of smell, touch, and taste should more than compensate here. I mean, how tough can it be to figure out what's on my plate? Uh-oh, here we go. Yeah. I think I smell seafood. Wait a minute, I got something on my fork. White church, sure middle. I think what I have is, is uh, scallops. It's something very aromatic. It's lavender. <laughs> it's like a compote of grapefruit and apple. It's so weird. The first course, I think, was scallops and a lavender sauce. Fennel? Yes, and uh, purée de chou-fleur. Cauliflower. Now, see, I didn't even notice the cauliflower. And then a glass, and there was grapefruit, and I think and it was the, apple. At pulp? the top, apple and kiwi. And kiwi. And basilic. And and basil. This is one of the most interesting dining experiences I've ever had. 
Being dark forces your sense of smell and touch and taste to really play a stronger role. And what's this? I think it's beef. The fork is not helping me. The fingers are a lot better than the fork. Is anybody else putting their hands in their plate? Yes. That's eggplant. Some kind of cabbage-like thing. Something new. It's another vegetable. It's maybe the fingers and that sense of touch are somehow taking over for the eyes, because I just can't keep my fingers out of my food. It's not an artichoke. Is that an artichoke? Maybe it is an artichoke. The only reason I can't remember what the flavor is is because I can't see it. I thought it was beef. It was beef. It, uh, yeah, you have a lot of other things uh, in your uh, in your plate. Okay. Rolls with chou, chou vert, leeks, leeks. Okay. and moutarde de mot. Mustard. Ah, okay. I didn't notice the mustard. Uh, puree. Puree. De carotte. A carrot puree with ginger. I noticed the ginger. And orange juice. And orange juice. Okay. Yes. You didn't notice it. Yeah, that's what I thought the cabbage was. There was a there was a vegetable. I couldn't quite tell what it was. The pinambo. Ah, Jerusalem artichoke. Okay, okay, okay. Dessert. Thank you. You're welcome, Mike. Well, it's definitely ice cream. It's not sorbet. My fingers have sort of stood in for my eyes somehow because my fingers are telling me more about my food right now than they ever have before. And something else over here, like a, maybe a profiterole. Nice, crisp outside, crunchy, but at the same time soft and chewy on the inside. And what is this? Chocolate. And the experience of eating this food, pitch black, is really cool. It adds a whole element to the meal that I didn't expect. I, it's just fun. So there was chocolate cake, very nice. Oh, there was a beautiful cookie. It was, it was crisp meringue. It was meringue. It was crisp on the outside. It was, and it was creamy and chewy on the inside. It was beautiful. Cream and raspberry cream. But the ice cream, I have Jasmine. no idea. Jasmine ice cream, yeah. no idea. But I actually missed complete flavors, didn't even see them, didn't even know they were there. It was Thank a you. wonderful experience. Thank you, Chef. I'm ready to go. Come with me. Thank you. Oops. With just one dinner in the dark, I've learned just as much about the visual power of food that I ever have in the light of day. You made it feel so comfortable in there. Thank you. You're welcome, Mike. When we first see our food, on a plate, in the market, or even in a photograph, we make flavor assumptions that influence how it ultimately will taste. With sight comes memory, anticipation, and emotion that have nothing to do with flavor, yet they influence every single bite.